Welcome to examples of using the properties of medians to determine unknown values. Before we take a look at our example, let's go ahead and review the concurrency of medians theorem. This theorem tells us that the medians intersect in a point that is two-thirds the distance from the vertices to the midpoint of the opposite sides. And this point of concurrency is called the centroid. So if we look at the median AE, this theorem tells us the length of AM is two-thirds the length of the entire median AE. So if we were given that AE is equal to 15 units, well two-thirds of 15 would be 10, therefore the shorter segment here would be 5 units. So there's some important things to recognize here that we discussed in the other video. Looking at the entire median divided by the centroid, the shorter segment is always going to be half the length of the longer segment making up the median. Or we could say that the longer segment making up the median would be twice the length of the shorter segment that makes up the remaining part of the median. So all this information is helpful when it comes to solving problems, as we'll take a look at now. So here we're given some information, and we want to find the length of a variety of segments. So first we're given that BG has a length of 5 units. Well, here's BG. We want to determine the length of GE as well as BE. Looking at the median EB, notice that we're given the shorter segment that makes up the median. As we just discussed, that means the longer segment would be twice the length of the shorter segment. So this would be 10 units. Therefore, median BE would be 15 units. Next, we're given that CG equals 16. Here's CG. We want to determine the length of GF and CF. So again, looking at the median CF, notice now we're given the length of the longer segment that makes up the median. Therefore, the shorter segment would be half this length. So GF would be 8 units. Therefore, the total length of CF would be 24. Next, we're given that AD equals 30. Well, AD is the length of this entire median. So if that's equal to 30, we want to determine the length of AG and GD. Again, that means the length of this longer segment would be 2 thirds the total length. Well, 2 thirds of 30 would be 20. And if the total length is 30 and this is 20, of course, this would be 10. Again, notice that it's half the length of the longer segment. We said the length of AG was 20 units, and the length of GD would be 10 units. Now for these last two questions, I'm going to go ahead and clear all the information from the diagram. Okay, so for this fourth question, we're given that GF equals X. So this is now X. We want to determine the length of GC and the length of CF. So again, there's a couple ways of doing this, but, but notice how if we consider the median CF, if X is the length of the shorter segment, the longer segment would be twice the length of X. Well, twice X, or 2 times X, would be 2X. Let's go ahead and write that down. The length of GF is 2X. And then to determine the length of CF, the total length, we just have to add the length of these two segments. Well, 2X plus X, or 2X plus 1X, would be 3x. So the length of CF is 3x. And now we have one more question. We're given that AG has a length of 9x. Let's go ahead and clear this. So AG is 9x. Notice how this is the longer segment that makes up the median. And we're also given that GD equals 5x minus 1. Well, here's GD. We want to determine x and then find the length of AD. Remember we said before that the length of the shorter segment here is half the length of the longer segment here that, that makes up the entire median. So if we take 5x minus 1 and multiply it by 2, it should be equal to 9x. Let's go ahead and do that. So 2 times 5x minus 1 must equal 9x. And again, just to make sure we understand why that's true, remember from the previous screen, remember 
If this was the median, the shorter segment here would be half the length of the longer segment that makes up the median. So 2 times 5 would equal 10. And that's the reason that we use to set up this equation. 2 times the shorter length would equal the longer length. Let's go ahead and solve for x now. We'll have 10x minus 2 when we distribute equals 9x. We go ahead and subtract 9x on both sides. This would be x or 1x minus 2 equals, this would be 0. Add 2 to both sides, we have x equals 2. So if x equals 2, let's determine the length of each of these segments and then determine the length of AD. Well, if x is 2, 9 times x would be 9 times 2. That would be 18 units here. And here we'd have 5 times 2, that's 10, minus 1, that would be 9. Again, notice how the length of the shorter segment here is half the length of the longer segment. That means the length of AD would be 18 plus 9, which would be 27 units. I hope you found these examples helpful.